There will be war. Tinubu drops bombshell, sends powerful message to terrorists, asks them to do this immediately. There will be war. Tinubu drops bombshell, sends powerful message to terrorists, asks them to do this immediately. To my dear listeners, Tinobola sends a powerful message to terrorists, asks them to do this immediately. What was it that he asked them to do immediately? Kindly stay tuned as I read today's news. President Bola Ahmed Tinobu has delivered a firm message to terrorists and bandits causing unrest across Nigeria, urging them to surrender to the nation's security forces or prepare to face deadly consequences. The president's warning came during the first annual international lecture hosted by the news agency of Nigeria NAN in Abuja. The event, themed Insecurity in the Sahel 2008-2024, dissecting Nigerians' challenges, genesis, impact and options, addressed the ongoing security crisis in the Sahel region. Represented by the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, Tinubu outlined his administration's effort over the past year to combat insecurity through a combination of military, kinetic and non-military, non-kinetic strategies. He reiterated that his government had, had adopted a comprehensive approach to address the security threat with a focus of the Renewed Hope Agenda, which prioritizes national security as a key area of concern. The administration has in the last year, he implemented various processes, policies, and programs aimed at enhancing security, driving economic growth, and improving the overall well-being of Nigerians, Tenobu stated. He went on to elaborate that the government had made significant progress in diminishing the threat posed by Boko Haram and other criminal groups. Tsenobu described these groups as bad elements that must be confronted by the nation's security apparatus. Enough is enough for the 15 years we have suffered in this country. Criminals have been doing as they please, disrupting our lives. Uh, commerce, education, healthcare and transportation. We can no longer tolerate these. It must and will come to an end, the president declared. Tinobu also issued a direct warning to those involved in kidnapping for ransom, emphasizing that their time was running out. This is a final warning. If you value your life, stop now. 
if you want to leave, leave this path of crime a caution. He pointed to the recent successes of security forces in neutralizing leaders of criminal gangs as an example of the government's determination. Tinobul also noted that the non-military approach remains an option and urged those involved in criminal activities to surrender and take advantage of the government opened up for reintegration. The non-kinetic approach is still available. We are offering a change for criminals to surrender. But if they do not, they know the consequences. We are seeing positive changes with many of our compatriots in the north returning to their homes following the restoration of peace. This will help boost food production and economic stability, Tinobul added. The president also highlighted a shift in criminal activities, noting that kidnapping for ransom has become the new phase of economic crime, replacing armed robbery and other forms of violent crime. He warned kidnappers that they would soon face the full force of the law. We defeated armed robbery in this country, and we will defeat kidnapping as well. Just give us time, he urged. Turning his attention to the larger Sahel region, Tinobu described the insecurity there as deeply rooted in issues like climate change, food shortages, and extremism, which are fueled violence and instability. Now we've come to